guys, what's up? Shatter here. Welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. We're down here in the Wreckers Cove? Cave? Cove, cave, whatever. In the Wreckers Hole. And we need to figure out what the hell happened here. Because there's a lot of dead, dead people here. Dead dwarfs. More dead dwarfs. Also, over here. Ooh. Possessed sorcerer. Level 11? Okay, so not terribly... Like, not super mega strong, but still, they will no doubt will attack me. I mean, it's almost a given at this point, right? So, I don't know. Shall we go over here? This looks like a dead end, kinda, so we'll go over here first. Although there's a hatch at the end, so... Not sure. Not sure at all. Okay, uh, yes, this looks like the quarters, perhaps? Letter from Dwarven- Oh, evidence! With a dwarf seal. Oh my! Fine paper. It looks important. Well, well! Dwarf's royal seal. It couldn't be. Loha! Isbile's agents inform her this that the Death Fog is in your possession. It must be delivered to Arx at all possible speed. I do not know what is causing this delay, but I do know you will res rectify this unfortunate error. I'm sure you know the penalty for disobedience. Do not disappoint. Oh, so Lohar is definitely in cahoots with the queen. Hmm. Yes, we must be careful to whom whom learns the contents of this letter, because I'm. Last time I was kind of. Sympathetic towards Lohar because, but I'm not quite sure if he tells me the truth right now. So, sacrifice the golden glitter, melt it in the cold blue river. This paradox is magic's wonder. Believers reap the runes of thunder. The runes of thunder. Okay, some more paper. I'll just loot everything here before we go any further. The Little Book of Big Booms. That sounds like a book for me. <laughs> By Zerzig Zollenfolst. Rain and lightning, blood and oil, these are the ingredients of Rivalon's most explosive recipes. Consider these combinations when trolls come seeking a holiday feast. Fire and water for a nice sizzling steam bath. Fire and oil and a small contained blaze just isn't enough. Fire and blood, because there's nothing more fearsome than a cloud of blood, fire and poison. Oh, cloud of blood. Fire and poison. Consider the blast your guest's main course. The en ensuing mist, their dessert. And remember, you can add electricity to any cloud for a shocking, spicy finish. Nice. A chest. Some fire arrows. And a pitcher. Okay. So much stuff here. Haste scrolls. More gold. Empty bottles. Well, there's a shit ton of empty bottles in here anyway, but... Living on the Edge skill book. For two turns, your target character's vitality can cannot be reduced by below one point, keeping them alive against all odds. If the target is, summon, is a summon, their lifetime will be prolonged. That's kind of cool. We'll give that to Sibyl. I mean, there's no harm in Sibyl learning this skill, right? Maybe we'll use it at one point, maybe we won't, all right? Also, she has race... You know what, race bone widow. Why the heck not? There we go. Okay, let's... Uh, let's see, there's some more... Oh, hello. 100 gold. Catching. High-quality fire essence! Oh, look, there's a lock over there. How interesting. What kind of lock is this? Looks like a ghost lock to me. A gem lock. This won't open without the jewel that acts as the key. A gem lock, okay. Spirit vision. Oh, hello. We have some dead dwarfs. Don't worry about it, says Loha. Quietest work around, says Loha. Well, I don't see him here. Cold stone he's lying on. It will be fine, my ass. 
And here I was, the fool, believing him. <laughs> the ghost swings a foot to kick its old body in frustration, but the boot sails straight through her corpse. You know what I always wondered with ghosts? Because most universes, ghosts are depicted as being able to go through things. But why don't they fall to the floor then? Are they just, you know, able to hover exactly on the floor so it looks like they're standing there? That's what I always wondered. I don't know why it just came up, but okay. Ask why she's so angry. Because it's his fault. If not for him, I'd still be sitting there, wine in hand, happy as Larry. But no, he knew best. He wanted the death fog destroyed. Okay. Death fog in the wrong hands could be devastating. Yeah. That's why we were to make sure it got into the right hands. Our hands. Yeah, that's that's what we learned from that letter. I even stood guard of Mordus when he was doing nothing but the Queen's bidding. No wonder we came to this. This is what I deserve, following the orders of a leader with the spine of a sponge. Thank Duna, Her Majesty has more steel in her belly than that coward. What has a queen to do with this? You're a little tool to be asking questions like that. Her Majesty is trying to do what's best for the dwarf people. And there's not a thing more you need to know. Okay. So yeah, it's quite obvious that these people down here, they do the dwarf's uh, queen's bidding. You know what? We could technically um, shapeshift into a dwarf and then ask more questions, couldn't we? I just remembered that. Because, you know, sometimes I really need to remember myself of what all the things you can do in this game. Because it's not very normal that in, in games you can just change your character's race like on the fly like that with a helmet. And then get different reactions from people. I'm not used to that, you know? Okay. So I think there will be combat. Pretty sure of that. So let's quick save. And you know what? I actually think you two, you could um, totally move up there while the other two, you two, will stay on the ground. Know what I mean? So she can use cloak and dagger and he can use retreat. You made it all the way here, you creeping little maggots. Oh, that's Mortis. You wriggled up to bow to me. As Lohar sent you to beg forgiveness for his sins, my lord had faith. He came to me when Lohar failed the queen. And as a reward for my service, he has granted me his favor. He has granted me Mord Akhaim. Scholar, Mord Akhaim. The ritual is older than time. Blood magic with the power to decimate armies. Armies? Merely sheep with swords. Minds that beg to be controlled. But Mord Akhaim is so much more than the power to have those beasts slaughter each other. And it is mine. By the Lord's grace, the power is mine. Okay, so it will be a little bit more dangerous than I expect. Venom coating probably means he has like... Uh... Yeah, ouch! Jesus, that hurts. Okay, I didn't see Lohar and I didn't see this guy over here. That is kind of awkward, actually. Now, I wonder if we kill Lohar if everybody else will basically, you know, back down. If you know what I mean, but... I really don't know. We'll see. We'll just start the battle and then check how it goes. Okay, um... Well, the problem right now is, of course, that... Oh, we'll actually just switch up there with the cat, won't we? So there's a cat and then we... Oh, we can only have one of these things active at one time? I didn't know that. Okay. Incarnate. And it just attacked it. Nah! Nah! <laughs> that was kind of cool. 
Why do these guys have wings, by the way? Is that a is that something I should know? Is there something weird that I should be notified about? No. Okay. So yeah, let's just do that. Actually, let's backlash to the back of him so we can get the backstab crits. Um, sawtooth knife. I think we can kill him. I'm pretty confident about that, actually. Target is out of sight. Yeah, too bad. Well, we can do flesh sacrifice and get one more attack in, actually. Uh, Rupture tendon would be quite cool. Boom! There we go. What is... Oh, 45. Oh, Mortis, go home. Mosquito Swarm on Kali. Now, he will be the most awkward one because he can not really get up there, can't he? That is super awkward that he cannot get up there. There is no ladder or something like that. Well, there is this. So I guess we'll just move. Ugh, not even enough uh, enough uh, to dragon's place there. Hmm. Well, we'll just stand over here, so maybe next time we can climb up if if we're still alive then. Phoenix dive. Yeah, if one is, I think as good as dead. Although he missed right now. Oh, he blinded us. Great. Atropy. Curse. He's doing a lot of things right now. But I'm not a big fan of it. Did he just kill my incarnate, by the way? Looked like it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, I don't think I can actually do this fight. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm ready. Yeah, missed. No. I, I, I don't see how I can survive this. We need to do this in a different way. Uh, let's load. Let me think. Is there a, an actual way how we could survive this battle? I don't think right now that... Uh, the thing is, if we ac all get source, we could do it, potentially. That means we would have to travel back to the Meister's uh, thingy. And then we could get ourselves some source and then maybe. But that's also just a maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like my chances here, really. no other way to like sneak around the problem is really that there's so many of them that is my biggest problem right here seriously so let's go outside and um, let's think about what else we could do to level ourselves a little bit you know what I actually know what we can do oh cat's treasure there's you know what there's actually so much more we can explore anyway so why not just explore a little bit more? Oh, wow, that was the best quick travel ever, by the way. There's strange undead magister. Yes, that's also true, but we, we're not strong enough for that either, because they're like level 13 or something. But I think we can... Let's see, we go down and then to the right, because we need to go around the troll again, right? Because the troll is still not letting us pass. But we should be able to go around here and then basically go from the troll, go to the south. I think it's the south at least. Should be able to do that. Come on, come on. No shyness. It's only poison. And that's only steam. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Now we go over here. Well, oh, there's more poison. Come on, you babies.
I love it. Kali's just like bathing in poison. She doesn't care. <laughs> okay. So we go down here. That looks okay for now, right? Actually, we're, we were down this road before. Or at least we have seen this before. Oh, the music just changed a lot. Processed, w possessed war maiden. What? There are more of these possessed guys. Possessed cleric. Possessed battle mage. There's five people here. Six at least. No, five. They're level None ten. Must pass. They're not like super strong, but they're gonna be awkward to fight. Because of their numbers advantage. My blood is ice. The void is here. Yeah, there's at least six of them. Oh, a venom wing void woken. Jeez. Go well. I require more. Whoa. He requires more. Go. Whoa. Pathetic little creatures. So hold on. The possessed are controlled by the Void Woken, but that would mean that Mortis is working for the Void Woken, right? Damn, that's a revelation right now. So, is it actually now true that I just can have one summon at a time? Is that... That is probably true, I suppose. Yes, okay. Reprints, you lead the way. We'll try this battle. Umbral statue, what? There's apparently a statue that can fight in here. I don't know how that works, don't ask me. Yeah, this. Umbral statue, that's this thing. Can we, like, destroy this and then it's okay or what? Also, there's some source over there. Let's just see what happens with that Umbral statue. Right now, we'll just uh, attack this guy, I suppose. Um, although, this guy will probably be best attacked with... Um, hmm. Hold on. You know what? I will delay my turn for now. I will want to see what these guys do. What? What was that? Why did he do that? Also, Kali is out of physical armor already. Not the best thing in the world. You know what? She's also gonna delay it because maybe flight. Okay, because maybe we can hit a lot of them in one go, you know? So they're crippled and slowed. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's see, she has... She does not have too big of a physical arm. So we'll engage her in physical combat, I think. Try to get her down. Little worms. They can just hop around like that, that's crazy, man. Ow, that hurts. Yeah, right now we are grouped. But so far our, our magic armor has actually done quite well. Well... That's a dick move. I'm not quite sure. Did the statue do anything now? Umbral Link. What is that? The Umbral Statue seems to be protecting the possessed dwarfs. Oh no! That means we need to s destroy that stupid statue? Really? Oh, for fuck's sake. Really now? And how are we supposed to destroy this thing? It has thousand life! Oh, seriously, this game is sometimes it really pisses me off. Sometimes I find it's amazing, but right now I'm like, how? You know? No, we'll just. Also, what does that mean, um, protecting the dwarfs? What does that even mean? Actually, no, let's not do adrenaline. We'll just, um... Hey! 
Do that. That hurts enough. Oh, that's my incarnate, right. My incarnate will just go over here, I suppose. Oh yeah, he's crippled, I forgot. Right. So, we'll just cause the soothing cold, so we have a little bit more resistance. Then I think a restoration on Sibyl will help a lot. And then... We'll Winter Blast this guy. And right now... Let's try to at least do some damage here. Fire arrow! Hey, look at that there. Incarnate is on it again. Snap! Bam! Great, I'm a chicken now. All in on Incarnate, pretty much killing it. Okay, fine, whatever. Ricochet, yeah, that is annoying. Ugh. Oh, they have things. They, they, they got such good crowd control, don't you think? It's like amazing. Wow, really now? Yeah, look at that. That's like crazy amounts of damage. So I think the protection is actually not that like crazy. It's just like... At least if I see it correctly. The protection is basically... Giving them a little bit of damage reduction, I would say. I think that's correct. All in on Ifan. Ouch. The question is, can we just retreat now and come back again later and... Maybe kill them then? I don't know, man. I could do this. Then tactical retreat. I have the feeling this is not going too well right now. Yeah, the red prince is... Reactive shot? What is that? What is reactive shot? Is that like an overwatch mode? And now the Red Prince has been knocked down. Great. Tentacle Lash from Kali. Firestorm Grenade. Damn, man. I cannot even attack over there because, yeah. Jesus Christ, man. That's really annoying. Yeah, I could flee with him, but that uh, really doesn't give me anything. Shocking arrow. Well, if Kali can escape, but I'm not sure she can. Let's just quick save now. Because if we can kill at least one and escape, then that's a good thing. You know what I mean? Actually, I think Kali could totally escape. Escape. Uh, let's see. Where to? Driftwood Square. Sure. Yeah. Oh, no. She's crippled. Yeah, she will not be able to escape. And she's dead. Yeah, no. And I don't think there's anything I can do here. I really don't think so. This is really the, the biggest problem I sometimes have. That if you... The fights either seem to go like you totally dominate them. Or you get dominated. A, a, lot, of, a lot of times it seems like that. Because either you can crowd control them. And then everything goes fine. Or you fail something and they completely wipe you. You know what I mean? So 
it really comes down to strategy, which I like, but right now I don't see how I can even closely win this fight. You know what I mean? If I at least could, like, teleport her out, you know? But I can't because I don't see. Target is out of sight. Right? Because she's in her own stupid cloud over there. And even now, I can only move her to, like, over here. You know what I mean? It's really annoying. Dominate mind. Yeah, that doesn't really help me much. Uncanny evasion will not help me. No, there is no way I can actually win this battle. There is no way. It's it's too bad. It is really too bad. I know that the goal probably would be to destroy that umbral statue, but uh, since I don't know if I can like maybe one shot this sh statue with some kind of spell or s I don't know. That is the biggest problem right now. Although what I could do potentially is to try like, drag them out of the fortress. We could try that. You know? Um, we take the not the Red Prince, we actually take Ifon, because Ifon is the fastest. And then the rest of us will wait out here. Like over here. And Ifon will basically go over here and taunt them. You know what I mean? Actually, can he just attack them? Not quite yet. Let's move a little bit further. No? A little bit? Yes. Let's save right here. Because I don't want to make this too long. I just want to see if it kind of works. So. I don't know what that is. It's kind of interesting that she has the first move even before Ifon. It's kind of crazy, actually. Um. Oh, yeah, I'm disarmed, kind of, huh? So I guess we'll just do... How is Tactical Retreat? Yeah, Tactical Retreat is one... Point. So we'll basically just jump. I guess we'll jump over here. Haste? Yeah, now they can buff themselves, obviously. The thing is if they if they just stay up there right now. I really think this is some kind of like Overwatch or something. I don't know. If they stay like there, we can l really delay how they, you know what I mean? How, how they will engage us. And the other guys are in combat. Beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. Good. And I think, yeah, all of them are in combat. Nice. So I think what I will do is I use Chloroform here to lower her magic. Um, immune to sleeping. That is interesting. Also, you see there's no umbral projection out here. Which I think means that the statue only has a very, very specific range. Interesting. So yeah, these guys will have like a turn or two until they come out. If there was a spell that could create a wall, that would be amazing right now. Just wall off the entrance, kill that guy and then go on. But I mean, this alone will help. I mean, yeah, now this guy comes out, of course. But you see, it just moved and did nothing else. I think we have an advantage. Right now. Strength comes. Also, yeah, there seems to be a very limited um, range. Also, see, she's already out of magic resist, which is amazing as well. Yes, we can get both. Nice. Both are chilled. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll focus on her because she is the first one to actually move again. Um, we'll summon our incarnate. Hmm, no, will, will we summon our incarnate? I suppose we will. Sure. Just start to wail. It actually deals some decent damage. Um, she will delay her turn for a very specific reason. 
we'll see in a second. Then we'll move over here. Let's move to AP for now. And then we could do like a bouncing shield. Glory is mine. Good. And now she can move. We'll use zero AP movement. A bit further, I guess. Then we backlash right over here. And we'll go full ham. Let's see how far we can get. Right. So here comes the sawtooth knife. Ouch. The ruptured tendons. I think we can actually kill her. Oh, beautiful. That's beautiful. That means... You know what? I will just put the incarnate in their way, basically. He's gonna be not a tank, but a nuisance, I think. A damage soaker. Because... Let's see if they actually attack him now. Yeah, they do. Or maybe not. Okay, that was not quite what I expected them to do. That's annoying. We should try to focus on this guy next, I think. Getting his physical armor down. Come on. This flight, it looks so awkward. These dwarfs with wings, man. Sky shot on incarnate, that's fine. Just do that, whatever. That's okay. That will hold him, at least for a bit. Alright. Um, hail strike. Oh, good damage. That's good damage. And then uncanny evasion on the red prince, because the red prince will go in and tank, basically. That is what, what is going to happen. Uh, let us see, what do we have over here? Well, they still have a lot of armor. Oh, well, not armor, but magic resist, rather. She does not even have enough to go over there? What? You know... Let me throw that over here, because he has a very low magic resist. He's immune to sleeping, I know, but that will actually um, make it easier for Kali. And then she jumps over here to basically go to safety. That will mean she has to travel a little bit more. Battering Ram on Ifon, that's kind of mean. That is kind of mean, lady. Yeah, she knocked him down, that's annoying. I guess I will then just taunt these two, right? Or provoke, rather. And I guess we can do that. Do some burning damage. Yeah, he was just knocked down. Haste. Poison wave, that's okay. Ifon sadly gets skipped. He's still attacking. Very nice. Next we can summon the cat. That's, I guess, the the biggest advantage if you have... Oh, come on, really? You can fire through there? That's mean. I think that's the biggest uh, advantage if you have several summons that you can actually use them independently, so to speak. Oh, there's water on the floor, huh? That might hit the red prince, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, that's some nice damage. Um, heck, you know what? Just dump him into the fire. <laughs> he might just burn to death for all we know. Well, okay, he uses flight, whatever. Ricochet on Sibyl. Now, what can Sibyl do next? Shackles of Pain. Resisted by physical armor. Ah, it's kind of annoying. 
Also, the, most of them seem to do um, magical, not damage, but magic... Uh, magic abilities, so to speak, that are get blocked by magic... Uh, you know what? I can put Shuffle Book of Pain on this guy. <laughs> okay. And then we move over here to be more in cover, basically. Good, attack of opportunity. Where is she going? Oh, no, you are such a bitch. Seriously. Target is too far away. Okay, then we use... I, I want to kill this thing now. Also, wasn't she taunted? There we go. We're getting... We're getting the hang of this. Potentially. Oh, Ifan, you're in trouble. All in? Okay, that was not, like, super brutal, I suppose. Um, you know what? Let's do Barrage and then go into... Oh, we don't have Chameleon Cloak anymore. Haha! <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. Well, then I guess we'll just try to do an attack and then tactically retreating. Over here. Nice. Yeah, and then we'll throw... That doesn't really work to throw chloroform at this guy, I suppose. Oh, you know what? We'll do encourage. Encourage! It's funny how they can jump through, like, um, through solid matter. Very interesting. Ouch, Ifon is really getting the hurt now. So I think I can summon Cat and Winter Blast. I should be able to do that. Or I could do Restoration and Soothing Cold on my guys. That's actually the better plan here. I think Restoration here. And then Soothing Cold on at least two of these guys. I mean, the reference is okay still. So, yeah, that will work. Let's go. Nom nom. Also, I think this fog might actually be to my advantage. Ah, shields up. Go home. Really annoying. Yeah, I suppose we'll have to, like, backlash over there again, right? Engage her. Ugh, we missed. Come on! Oh, at least that was good. She still has... Well, you know, why not? Stab, stab, stab. That was a good attack. Now, these two, they still are kind of strong. So, you know, we need to... If we can, kill her. That would be nice. Or rather, rather we could just knock her down, to be fair. We could just battle stomp her ass. Then, because these two have rather low magic armor... Oh, it's out of sight. Come on, that's really annoying. Um, if on... No. Hold on. This is my physical armor. I'm just trying to figure out what can I do. Well, I could just walk up to them, I suppose. Just block the way and say, hello, here I am. Come and fight me. She's knocked down. Perfect. And the fog is now cleared, which means Ifon can now freely attack over there. Actually, let's do a sky shot. That hopefully is enough. Not quite. Damn it. Do it all down. That flight looks so funny when they do it. Sky shot on Ifon. Ouch, but he's restoring, he, which is good. I think that should go well so far. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Chill, motherfucker! <laughs> uh, right, and I think we can just move with Kali a little bit. That's okay. She's attacking the Red Prince, which is absolutely inconsequential. Yeah, you... 
But you see what I mean with either it's it's super easy or it's super hard because right now I do not feel threatened. <laughs> Even the cat is killing her. That is kind of cool. Also, this guy is completely frozen, isn't he? So he's out of combat for the next turn as well. How many dwarfs are there left? I think that's only two of them. Huh. I kind of thought it would be more, but uh, no, apparently not. And we use chloroform to get her magic resist down as well. Nice. Uh, not using adrenaline right now. It's okay. We can use... Go close attack and then use dragon's breath. Which will ignite the poison... We should have done this earlier, that would have been cooler, but it's okay. He's frozen? And I think Kali can just start uh, hacking away on him next time. Or we could just root him, but he is a close combat guy anyway, so that really won't help us that much. Nice barrage. Yeah, this will do anything. It's really kind of interesting that they're immune to sleep. I'm not quite sure why that is. Also, she's now out of she's out of physical um, armor as well. So now we can uh, do a winter blast here and a electrical discharge, dealing lots of damage. Yeah, this statue is not going to help them at all. It's kind of cool. And then we'll feline leap away to the space for the Red Prince. And now we go all in with her. Because now, as you can see, physical armor has been completely depleted because of the two attacks of opportunity. Which means... Yoi! Yeah, she's dead. She's just dead. Nice! Well, not enough to really do anything here, so let's just... Do that. That's okay. And now, let's just walk over and do crippling blow! Well, at least a little bit. He will have one more thing he can do here. Oh, flight! Look at that! Who would have thought? Don't kill Ifon. I will be angry if you do. And that's his physical armor gone! And <laughs> kill him in style. Get over here. He's dead. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. That was the trick. Luring them out of the fortress and killing them one by one, more or less. That was the trick. Sweet. I'm actually happy that this worked out so well. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's sleep real quick. And next time we're going to loot all the corpses. Actually, uh, let me teleport that corpse over here, because otherwise I will forget that it exists. There we go! All the doors nicely piled up for us to loot next time. Cool! Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.